Fort Meade Marines on their morning run celebrating the Corps' 247th birthday. More on the birthday in a moment. Hello and welcome to Meade Week. I'm Brian Spann. Also this week, highlights from the Army-Navy game. The National Park Service announces a new veterans benefit and the commissary has a new app. These stories and more, but first, the transformation of Kuhn Hall into Fort Meade's new Education and Resiliency Center has been in progress for more than 10 years. But this week, garrison leadership, members of the Fort Meade Alliance, county, state, and federal officials cut the ribbon on the newly renovated center. The Fort Meade Alliance, a local civic organization dedicated to supporting Fort Meade, led the charge that oversaw the donation of more than $5 million to complete the renovation. Alliance Foundation President Dion Vergutz gave a brief timeline in his remarks. We submitted an initial letter of intent to the garrison in 2013 that the FMAF would like to renovate Coon Hall into the Education and Resiliency Center and donate it back to the Army. The following year, an official campaign was launched to raise $3.6 million for the renovation project. And in 2018, we officially submitted our gift proffer to the Army, having raised the funding and necess necessary and have woven our way in what was one of the most difficult tasks how to give the Army $3.6 million. In 2020, then Secretary of the Army Ryan McCarthy formally accepted the gift and it was read into the congressional record. And in the summer of 2020, the go-ahead was given to execute the gift proffer. In his closing remarks, Fort Meade Garrison Commander Colonel Michael Sapp thanked the Fort Meade Alliance and Foundation for their leadership. Likewise, our Coon Hall partners, the Fort Meade Alliance and Fort Meade Foundation, have had many lead the charge over the years, such as Rosemary, Dion, Steve, Doreen, and now Joe, and with the constant leadership and support of Tim. Thank you. Each leader has given a piece of themselves and left their mark, a legacy which we expect to be here for decades to come. The Education and Resiliency Center will provide and host programs for individuals and families that will help in the five pillars of resilience, family, emotional, physical, spiritual, and social. Elsewhere after last year's downpour, the weather for this year's annual Army-Navy game was nearly perfect. All right. All right, so here's the tails. Yeah. Once again, the pregame tailgate party was sponsored by the Central Maryland Chamber of Commerce. The game fell on Election Day, so kids from the CYS Cheerleading Squad and the Youth Flag Football League were able to attend. The cheer squad performed during pregame festivities, and a quick Youth Flag Football game was played at halftime. As for the main course, Army maintained its recent dominance in the series, earning their fifth straight win and their sixth win in the last seven games. Two Army touchdowns in the first half gave them a 12 0 lead they would not relinquish. Navy outscored Army in the second half, but it wasn't enough as the Army prevailed 18 13. Once again, Army 18, Navy 13. In other news, the United States Marine Corps celebrated its 247th birthday on November 10th. To mark the occasion, Fort Meade Marines staged an around the clock 247 mile relay run in the days leading up to the Marine Corps birthday. Teams of three ran three miles around McLaughlin Parade Field from 4 p.m. on March 7th to 8 a.m. on the 9th. Running in the last group, the Commander of Marine Corps Forces Cyberspace Command, Major General Ryan Heritage. This has really been an idea of the enlisted Marines. They wanted to celebrate a little bit special, so we've been out here for about two and a half days, uh, running nonstop for 247 miles carrying the colors, so pretty special. In other news, the White House announced on Veterans Day that veterans of the armed forces and Gold Star families can obtain a free lifetime pass to thousands of recreation sites managed by the Army Corps of Engineers. To obtain a lifetime pass, veterans can go to the National Park Service website. Gold Star families can download a voucher for the pass at the U.S. Geological Survey website. The new lifetime pass is in addition to the free annual military pass available to active duty service members. And finally this week, the Commissary has a new app. It offers services such as online ordering, information on healthy living, and savings events. Your new Commissary mobile app is bringing convenience to online programs like Commissary click to go our weekly sales flyer, recipes, and more. Head over to Google Play or the iOS App Store and download your version today. From easy online ordering to information on healthy living and, of course, savings, your new Commissary mobile app will help you make the most of your Commissary benefit. Your Commissary, serving those who serve us. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.